Hi everyone, uh, this is your writing task for your week six pack. So this week we're going to be looking at another video, this one's called Ruin. You're going to be using the video to write a first person narrative. Now just something to note, if you can't access the video through the pack, we will be posting it in the team's chat, so don't panic. Okay. A really quick synopsis, so this is a hyper-realistic short animation and it's set in a post-apocalyptic landscape of derelict buildings and they're slowly being taken over by the futuristic flora and fauna, so the plants are kind of taking over. The film begins with a stunning, stunning establishing shot of the setting before we see a large container being ejected from the Haven Nanotech building. The main protagonist or character in the story is seen exploring the container and he discovers a strange mobile device which seems to direct him to a mystery research facility. As he's trying to make sense of what is on the screen, a sound of rotor blades warns him that he is in danger and to make his escape. And what you're going to be focusing on is that escape in this, in this piece of writing. Okay, so just a quick look at the structure for this week. We are expecting a really detailed paragraph for each of these uh, days. You've got a whole day to write a paragraph, so it should be really high level, and you should be thinking about the success criteria in all of them, so don't rush through this. Um, looking at the model right. so first of all we've got our success criteria, noun phrases as always in a descriptive piece of writing. If they're extended noun phrases, make sure you've got that comma in between the two adjectives. Using how and where adverbials, particularly to start your sentence, how adverbials often we're using the ly, so you're telling me how that character is doing something. You might also think about kind of up leveling and being a bit more descriptive with that and extending them. And also our where adverbials that helps the narrative to move along. Short sentences are going to be really important in this because you want to be building suspense. It's a bit, it's quite dramatic and tense. It's like a chase. You want to be having those sentences that have real impact. It's also important not to overuse them. So it's really effective when you use one of those long descriptive sentences and then you hit the reader with a short sentence. Ellipses, again, is gonna help us to build suspense throughout your writing. Don't overuse it, but think about where it's gonna be most effective. So I'll have a quick read through and we'll pick some of the success criteria out. The world was not as it once was. The crisp, clear water ripped gently, reflecting the stillness above. Although it now seemed lifeless, it was more alive than ever, the crackling sound of insects filling the otherwise soundless landscape. The once concrete jungle was a haven for the pulsating wildlife. Fauna and flora sprawled itself across the desolate building. Shades of green devoured all in its path. Echoing through the dilapidated city, the coarse screech broke the silence. I watched as it tumbled silently to the ground, knowing that this might, might provide me with the answers I had been searching for, so desperately for. And again, left on an ellipsis, a little bit of suspense to make the reader want to read on. So we've got our noun phrase examples, soundless landscape. We've got an extended one here, crisp, clear water. And we've got our comma in between the two adjectives. Concrete jungle, it really builds up the picture of what this landscape is like, which is what your first paragraph should be about. In terms of your how and where adverbials, we've got some how, a how adverbial tumbled silently to the ground. So again, not just silently, it's, it's it's been up level almost to kind of um, explain exactly how it's being done, okay? And the where adverbials, the stillness above, okay? So it tells us where, that, where those things are coming from. A nice short sentence to start, the world was not as it once was. A really dramatic start, immediately it makes you want to find out why was it not as it once was, okay? And we spoke about the ellipses at the end. In this writing, it's really important to think about all the senses, because that's going to give you an idea of what that character's going through. So, thinking about what they're feeling and make the reader feel like they are actually there with you. Okay? Remember, it's a first-person narrative. Really include that detail. Make sure it's detailed all the way through, not just your first paragraph. Good luck, guys, and can't wait to read, uh, read them.